Hi, Alan SoCal. I'm going to do a, a very short review, and uh, it's for the T3 Afar, this uh, hair dryer that we just got in. One of the things that attracted me to this particular dryer was the fact that it is, in fact, an international uh, dual voltage uh, blow dryer, and it's got an auto sensing uh, ability, so you don't have to move a switch back and forth. I will tell you that over the years with all of our trips out of the country and especially to visit family uh, in South America, uh, 220 is what we typically face. And uh, I've reviewed a lot of voltage conversion units. Many of them that we have are suitable to use with our 110 voltage, uh, 110 volt AC uh, blow dryers that aren't international, can't handle 220. Uh, but this unit, uh, dual voltage. So I, I wanted to get this and to review it. Uh, Packaged with all sorts of accessories. Um, I was impressed with the printed material. Um, this to me looked like a nice hair dryer. So it, you get the blow dryer, you get a uh, concentrating adapter for the uh, end of the blow dryer. Uh, when you take it out of the box, which we've already done, the cord is stored below decks, so to speak. And uh, let me see, I'm going to end up with a lot of packaging here. This uh, being the blow dryer, let me back it out again. I can tell already we're going to need to um, to show it. Uh, here's the cord. Here is what actually is a very nice bag. It's um, I don't know if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's genuine leather, although it sure feels supple and uh, very very nice. I think it's a an impressed or a uh, a pressure printed, possibly a leather, but if not, it's a very high uh, quality bag. It's got uh, a, a padded interior. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's it's a fabric interior with a um, with uh, some a pouch in here to hold probably the accessories, maybe the cord. Really, really nice color coordinated. This one happens to be a champagne pink. And uh, you simply pull up, and uh, there it is in its full extended version. Uh, I will tell you right now, my wife and I both had a little problem with the switching. One side is for air speed, the other is for heat level. And um, I'm going to uh, plug it into my 110 here at my desk. And... Um, Now, one of the interesting things about this hair dryer, it has a little button right here. And um, so you can see the controls. And I'm going to, um, right now there's hot air coming out. If I go down to this button right here and push it, I can switch off the electric coils, the heating coils. And now it's blowing cold air. So. Uh, you're familiar with uh, doing a no heat blow as opposed to the heated uh, air. So now it's back to heat and then I believe this on this side here that's temperature. So now it's on the hottest and then if I come back down again I'll go to the lowest heat level And then over here, that's obvious. Two levels of air speed. Okay, so heat level, air speed, and coils either energized or not energized. And this little symbol down here, I'm sure, refers to... Uh, dual voltage. I think it was a couple of arrows going around the globe, so I get that. Uh, now let me tell you how it performed. My wife used it this morning. First of all, 
I ordered a um, one of these Ionic type uh, designed uh, handheld blow dryers a few months ago, reviewed it. It was about a third the cost of this one. My wife did say that that blow dryer had more airflow, higher air uh, force than this one. So yeah, I sort of felt that. However, this one looks really nicer. <laughs> and it comes with a beautiful case and it does fold down and it's automatic dual voltage. Um, I like it. I mean, I, I think it's really nice. My wife is probably going to use the less costly unit at the house, but this is now our official travel uh, blow dryer minimum for traveling. If anyway, I'm giving this five stars. I think within its current market, uh, I feel the price is really good. I think this T3 has a nice design. I, I think it's uh, it's everything it says it is. Air volume's a little less than our other unit. You'll have to decide whether uh, uh, this is sufficient or, you know, maybe maybe you want to use a, another dryer for higher volume. But when you don't need the volume of air, then this one you might want to use. Again, I love the design. I, th I think it looks really smart.